Hi there, Bijou Juju here, and we are, what you see behind us is actually Rosie, and we're not sitting in our driveway, she has moved. Now, here's the thing, we uh, haven't been on for some time, and I really apologize for that. The reason being is we had a, a leak in Rosie that had been leaking for some time, we and didn't know. <laughs> we yeah we didn't know should have known but you know we're new to this still and so we uh, had to tear out the whole top bunk the cab over part of the of the bunk and um, it was it was um, a, a unique experience <laughs> yeah we learned Frustrating experience. we learned a lot <laughs> we learned that uh, mm. not all RVs are made the same certainly. And uh, so, anyway, um, it, we, we actually cut this whole thing in half. This is the first part of tearing out the bunk of what we did. Uh, it actually turned out quite well, I think. Looks pretty. And uh, so we are uh, camping again once, uh, once again, and, and I'll probably put up something about where we are now later. But uh, anyway, this is the first part of us tearing up Rosie. So, enjoy. Well, here we are. This is going to be a different kind of video, maybe. Don't know exactly how this is all going to turn out. Um, i got to start at the beginning here. You see this little patch? This is some of that sealant patch that I scraped up with my scraper when I was trying to get the, some of the caulking off. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a place where somebody had poked, you know, a branch through. And uh, I... Uh, I had filled it with caulk and I thought it was going to be okay and then it wasn't uh, this last trip out west and especially since we've come back to Michigan and good lord it has rained. The place is turning into a monsoon I think. So anyway that little spot up there was leaking and take you inside real quick. This is the over the cab bunk part of this part that goes here is is gone it's sitting back there on the bed. But maybe you can see where I've torn out some of see that piece has got a hole in it. It used to go all the way over there. I had to tear that out because it was uh, rotting. Now I don't see any there's no uh, mold or anything so that's good. But this whole piece has got to come out that piece right there and it seems like it has leaked up in here um, and so we're thinking about just taking out all the headliner or the ceiling I guess you call it ceiling all the way back taking it all out and replacing it and this air conditioner doesn't work very well anymore and uh, you turn it on and you could almost go deaf by hearing it. So, um, uh, so I think we're gonna take that out and replace it with a maxi fan, but that's a ways to go. So anyway, um, we've gotta fix this thing up front where it was leaking. We've got a month to fix it. So I'm going to try and remember to take video, show you what I do, and <laughs> I will show you probably many mistakes and things not to do if you ever decide to do the same silly thing. So uh, hopefully this will all come out. And uh, okay. Our usually semi-neat Rosie is now a complete disaster on the inside, and we... We're supposed to take her in a couple of weeks to go to New York. That isn't going to happen, I don't think. Uh, but we do have a date, uh, a reservation to go camping on the 4th of July, so uh, bummer. So here's Rosie. Uh, this, is, this is where we are right now. We've had to tear out most of the top bunk up here. Um, she was leaking up in that corner over there, and so we've torn out a whole bunch of this stuff. 
Uh, you probably couldn't see it if I turned it around because I have the phone on a tripod. So, <clears throat> but believe you me, there is a bunch of stuff and there is more to come. So, uh, I'll just let you watch me tear up stuff. I'm good at tearing up stuff. Um, not so good at putting stuff back together, but I'm pretty good at tearing up stuff. So, get my gloves on. Try not to kick the tripod. Heavy duty equipment here. thing is this is not just tacked down with with uh, staples or anything it's glued down and uh, it seems that uh, the makers at Fleetwood or whoever built this thing um, they they like to put a lot of glue in some places and not a lot of glue in others so it, sometimes it's really easy to get this stuff up and sometimes it's bare I know some of you are probably thinking wow what a wuss he's wearing gloves you know what Slivers un underneath my fingernails. I just hate that. Guess I better pick up these screws. I don't know why they're pretty much worthless, but pick them up anyway. You know that's the way it goes. You got to pick up your pick up your mask. That's what Mick's always telling me. Pick up your mask. She says that all the time to me. You'd think I was the messiest person alive, but I'm not. Not really. Okay, we'll get to the other side. Ah, another reason I wear gloves. I'll turn you so you're looking at me, maybe. A little better. Because I know you all want to see what a handsome devil I am. Just saw a stray dog go by. Don't know what that dog is.
Just wanted to show you a little bit more. Mick has taken this piece out that goes on the side here, and we have, I think, I think we're growing cheese. I think yeah. that's cheese there, Roquefort perhaps. Yeah. So we're gonna have to do some more tearing out. This side looks all right, looks okay over here, but uh, yep, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna just rip and roar. Just a little bit more shot of tearing out stuff from Rosie. We, we've actually stopped working inside for now uh, to uh, concentrate on the outside to get the caulking done so that whatever we do in here doesn't just get screwed up by more rain, which it's supposed to do for the next week. So we've got to kind of hurry. And we're back. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, if... if we if, didn't. <laughs> We didn't. We didn't like any part of it. Uh, we, I'm sure if you uh, aren't trying to find out how to fix a cab over bunk, uh, you were about as interested in that as uh, having a molar pulled. Yeah. But, but be that as it may, uh, I hope you did find it interesting. If you did, please uh, make sure you, you know, give the thumbs up, like the video. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to us. And uh, we will see you on the second round of this whole thing. So, bye for now. Bye.